I'm dog mum Kate Lawler and today I'm at Wood Green Pets Charity to find out more about their incredible partnership with Pooch and Mutt and I'm hopefully going to meet a few new furry friends along the way. So I'm here with Britt from Wood Green to find out a bit more about the wonderful work they do here. Hello Britt, okay. nice to meet you, you Nice right? to meet you. Um, I've already found my new favourite dog, she's just <laughs> yeah. incredible. I think she's chosen you for sure. <laughs> she's lovely. Um, while we have a little snuggle, can you tell me a little bit about Wood Green? Wood Green is an animal charity. We've been here since 1924 and what we do is we support pets in need and their owners. We are a rehoming centre as well, so we rehome dogs, cats small animals. And how many dogs do you rehome a year? On average it's 360 a year. Wow. Yeah. And that's not even all the dogs that come into our care. That's a lot of dogs but it's Lots also of a lot of rehoming which is yeah. quite positive. Yeah. yeah do you see really spikes at particular times in the year of dogs coming in? Unfortunately we do. This time of year like right after fireworks season we get um, an increased intake in strays. Like lots oh, of dogs, no. you know, yeah, Poop running just, away, yeah. bolting out of the garden. We have seen an increase in intake um, due to the cost of living crisis. And how do you not get emotionally attached? Because I've known Amber mm. for five minutes and I've already had to have my makeup touched up because <laughs> I burst true, into tears because yeah. I want to take her home. Yeah. You must have good days and bad days here, right? Yeah, for sure. It's a job that has lots of lots of highs, but also um, sometimes quite, yeah, some emotional lows as well. You do get attached, you do get emotionally attached. Um, I think everyone does. You know, we're all here because we absolutely love animals, absolutely love, you know, for me specifically, dogs. Um, so you do get attached, but for me personally, I think it's always thinking about the long term. You know, mm -hmm. we're yeah. here to support them through quite a difficult time in their life, and then hopefully they're off to a, you know, yeah. a good forever home. Financially, you do provide help to families in need, don't you? Yes. So we have uh, an amazing outreach and education team who offer financial support for any vet bills. And your charity partner, uh, Pooch and Mutt, are involved in yes. the care package as yeah, well. Yeah, which is amazing. Yeah. So if you rehome a pet from Wood Green, you get um, Pooch and Mutt food. You get, hello you get a lifetime discount. So you can go into their website um, and get an amazing discount for the rest of um, that animal's life. And we also offer free behavioral advice. So let's say you've rehomed an animal from Wood Green, you're having some issues, um, we're always here to, to help. I mean, I don't think she's gonna spend long here at Wood Green. No. Not that it would be a bad thing, because this place is amazing, 43 Thanks. acres. Mm -hmm. You can tell everybody that works here loves the animals, and there is so much care and undivided attention that goes to each and every one of them. But she is absolutely beautiful. Britt, it's really nice to meet you. Yeah, it was really nice talking to you, Kate. And nice to meet you too, Amber. I'm sorry I can't take you home today, but you'll find your forever home soon, I'm sure. <laughs> One of the ways Pooch and Mutt support Wood Green is by supplying the dogs in their care with healthy food and treats. Pooch and Mutt is vet approved and it's made from functional and nutritional ingredients which is vital to ensure that these dogs who haven't had the best start in life have the best nutrition to give them optimal health. So it's dinner time and I'm here with lovely KT to help feed the pooches. Now, at home I have regular dog food bowls. These look way more fun. Can yeah. we please explain why <laughs> you feed the dogs using licky mats and Kongs and things like that? So it is kind of a brain workout for the dogs. Um, because our dogs are working, aren't working like in a normal home, um, they're not using their brain as much. So therefore, these kind of things really engage their brain and they get to sort of have some fun with it, really. They are literally, these are puzzles and um, it makes them work a little bit harder. The calm and relaxed is incredible. We feed this to Shirley in the run up to firework night because she's absolutely terrified and it really does the job. It's really good food. It's kind of a bit of trial and er error, mm -hmm. especially with, when you're going into enrichment and things like that. You just have to see what works. Some dogs uh, prefer just the kibble, some dogs prefer just the wet. We tend to feed uh, mainly kibble, but then mix it in with the wet food. We are going to prepare a meal for lovely Charlie, yeah. who I've not met yet, but no. I'm very excited about meeting Shirley. <laughs> 
Alicia, we I want to see the Kong in action. What's Absolutely. this called? So this is called a wobble Kong. Yeah, let's one. get let's yep. pack that with okay. treats as well because okay. I want to see him have a go at that. Oh, it's... Um, and then we give him so literally just pop that in there. All right, we're going to top yep. Charlie up with a little bit of wet food. I know this is probably too much, but he deserves it. It's a special yep, day. Yeah, that's about right. Pop some of the wet food in the licky mat, and then that will be his lunch for the rest oh, of the day. Goodness. Well, they must be knackered yeah. after this. Yeah. <laughs> One of the things you may not know is that Wood Green is the charity featured on popular TV show, The Dog House. If you're a fan of the show, you may recognize the building behind me. This is the pen of hope where families come to meet their potential four-legged family member for the very first time. And I believe we're going to be meeting someone very special today. Let's go inside and take a look. Oh my goodness, who is this? Hello. Oh wow, you like those, don't you? Can I give her one more? Um, yeah, yeah, of course, yeah. Okay, that's enough for now. She's beautiful. How old is she? Um, so Coda is about five months old, so she's only a baby still. You're a little puppy. Um, and yeah, and she's totally deaf. Um, is so she? At the minute, she's learning to navigate life without her hearing, but she's doing really well. She doesn't even realise. Um, and uh, yeah, so she's learning bits of sign language. Um, yeah, doing really, really well. When she goes into the home, we kind of check in with them every three days, three weeks, three months, and keep in touch, check everything's going okay. And we will offer lifelong behavioural support um, for anyone that rehomes a wood green dog. They That's get wonderful. That, they get that lifelong support. Even if it's five years down the line, they suddenly start having problems with, you know, um, you know, something out and about with other dogs, then they can get in touch with us and it doesn't matter that that time's passed, we'll still offer that free behavioural advice right the <laughs> way through. I'm here with Violet and we are taking a stroll through the 43 acre centre here at Wood Green. When every dog arrives at the centre, they are given a personalised plan, uh, which includes everything from how to deal with their behaviour and medication, uh, making sure they have enough time for eating, playing, training. Violet is a three year old cross uh, ball boxer, a uh, bulldog. She arrived as a stray. As you can see, um, she has recently had puppies. The puppies, we don't know what happened to them, but she arrived at the center with a huge mass about the size of a tennis ball on her neck. And it was here at the vets on site that they operated to remove the mass a couple of weeks ago, uh, a week after she arrived. That was a successful operation, as you can see. Violet, she is healing wonderfully. Can you might be able to see the little scar on her neck. She is the most incredibly well-behaved dog. She is so friendly. She would absolutely thrive in a family home, maybe with other dogs. She loves dogs, she loves kids. She's just such a people person. She's so well-trained. She even did a little wee-wee outside, so we know she's toilet trained. And Violet is looking for her forever home. If you are thinking of perhaps expanding your family, honestly, you should consider adoption because there are so many perks and just the most incredible thing giving a rescue dog a new home yes some of them come with their problems but i have rescued in the past and there is nothing like the feeling of taking a dog home and giving them a second chance there are so many dogs that need help so if you are considering rescuing then check out wood green pets charity um, there are currently around 50 dogs here that are looking for new homes and the breeds are endless as well